This video is gonna show you how to share out your Jamboard to students directly from Jamboard. Now remember Jamboard, because it's a Google app for education, is basically like a Google Doc. We have the sharing settings that you have traditionally for slides, docs, things like that. So right away I have a jam here. Let's go into the share settings up in the top. When you go into your jam, it's always set to default to anyone from DSBN. So let's change a couple different things in here. Number one, I can typically add people just like normal. So I'm gonna add my test student. Then I get to choose whether I want to make them a viewer or an editor. All right, so if I hit send, that's going to send it directly to the test student right away, and that student is going to have it. Let's flip over to him now. There's going to be a couple things. One, they'll get a notification in their email, or if they just go to the shared with me, you can see right in there, there's the template I just shared out to them. And then they get to work on it. See that my little avatar is here, so that tells you that I'm collaborating on this with them. We're both on this. Let's flip back to the teacher. And on the teacher it says, this person has joined and I can now see the student on there. So, works just like a Google Doc or slideshow. Next, let's go to the share button again. Let's say you want to share this to a large group of people like your class. Down here, I know it's always hard to tell, we just don't want to get this link. We want to go in and click change. This is gonna allow you to change it in a couple different ways. Number one, you can change who it goes to, so you can leave it unrestricted, which means no one has access. DSBN or anyone with the link, that's totally up to you how you wanna do this. But the key thing is, if you want a student to work on it, you need to change it from viewer to editor. Once I do that, now I can just go in, copy this link, and wherever I put it, when I just paste in that link, it'll take me right to that Jamboard. Now remember, if I put that link in D2L or wherever, I had on everyone can edit. That means everyone will be on the exact same document to edit that. So just remember that when you post a link out. If you want students to have a separate individual Jamboard, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna use the force copy technique that you can use in most Google apps. I'm gonna go up to the web address. I'm gonna highlight the end right after the slash and I'm going to put copy. When I hit enter, what that does is it creates a forced copy, which means it's going to make a copy for that person, whoever clicks on that link. So I would take this link then, and I would put it in D2L, and that's gonna make a copy for all my students. And then the next question should be, how do they share that back to you? Well, the great news is once they have their copy, then they just go into that share button, and they're going to share it directly with you, put in your name here, whatever it is you're going to do. So those are the three different ways you can share a copy of a Jamboard directly from Jamboard.